good afternoon from the Central Florida Zoo. So the Central Florida and, and Botanical Garden. Oh, yeah. so Central Florida Zoo is located about 45 minutes to an hour away from Disney, a little bit further north. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited. Yeah. So the last time that we came here, Jackson was. I don't know if he was born yet. I don't know. I think I might have been pregnant the last time we were here. It's definitely um, been a while. Yeah, so we are in Sanford, Florida. We love Sanford. There's a lot to do here. But uh, we've decided to come today and see the animals at the zoo. Yeah, you never know what we're going to get up to. You never know. We might feed a giraffe. Yeah. We might feed a rhinoceros. I for sure want to check out the botanical garden because I don't think we did that last time. No. So, yeah, let's head in. So they are doing a lantern festival here right now, but all of the tickets for it are sold out. But you can still see some of the lanterns out and about. There it is right there. It's called the Asian Lantern Festival Into the Wild. There's also a tree trail and zip line course. Kind of looks like it's not operating currently because I think at some of these platforms they would have uh, people working to make sure that everybody's okay. Oh yeah, you can see the ladder is blocked off over there. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. <laughs> I think the, oh, look at these birds on top of the roof oh, yeah, here. Yeah, look at these. Very but also, colorful. look at this butterfly tree. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's huge. What do you see? Do you see the butterflies, bud? Yeah. Oh, this is called the butterfly tree. The butterfly tree is not a butterfly like tree, but an inexplicable natural phenomenon. In the American Montreal pine forest, every autumn, numerous butterflies fly to this pine forest and stay on these black pine trees, all of which become colorful butterfly trees and do not fly away until the spring of the following year. So far, there is no reasonable explanation for the mystery of the butterfly tree. The butterfly tree has become one of the most bizarre biological phenomenon in the world, and it is still a natural mystery that attracts worldwide attention. Oh, there's a selfie moment here. Not really, I guess a, a photo op, but it looks like there's some sort of light here or it's an Xbox Connect. Okay. Well, I don't know because it's not nighttime. I think we would have to see it at night. Uh, okay. Right, buddy? So with the with the Lantern Festival, you can see everything during the day, but I think you're paying for the lighted, like the the experience at night is where everything is all lit up. Yeah. So that's what you're paying for. But that's all sold out. So we stop moving going. towards me. I'm trying to get the, the oh, are you? trying to get the wings on you. Oh, how do I look? Yeah, you look like a beautiful butterfly. Sorry, finish your sentence there. <laughs> I was just saying you can see everything during the day, but if you wanted to see it at night, that's what you're paying for with the Lantern Festival um, ticket. So unfortunately those were all sold out. I think that festival is actually coming to an end pretty soon. So we missed it, but next year we'll have to, we'll have to come back. You know what I just realized? We're standing here listening to the splashing of the water. There's a splash pad here. Yeah. It's too cold like, for anybody to play in yeah, it, but. Yeah, today's chilly. It's like a tropical themed splash pad. Just Enjoy. having a look at the. Yeah. Okay. Map really quick, trying to figure out where we're going to go first. Jackson says he wants to go to the African bird habitat. So that's right over here. Okay. Huh. It's like the first thing that we come to. They also have right here, you want to go to that one? They have an annual pass check-in, so you can get an annual pass to the zoo. Yeah. Pretty cool, bud. Do you want to see the warthog, buddy? Yeah. Oh. The barnyard buddies so they have a, a children's zoo that's like a petting zoo and yeah. it's all of the like the farm animals gotcha but let's go inside go so on the way in they told us that because we already bought tickets if we're local we can upgrade our passes to annual passes i think we might do that they had different tiers like different yeah. levels so the the one for two adults and up to six children was only 100 bucks right yeah pretty good and then they said you get like 50 percent off at other zoos and aquariums yeah I don't know what like the the qualifier for that is. Like, do they all have to be like AZA aquariums? I'll zoos? link I'll link it down below um, the zoo website. So if you want to read into it, you definitely can. And I did also want to mention this is an AZA zoo, so the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, one of the highest accreditations you can get for any zoo or aquarium. Mm -hmm. There's a splash pad over here. Wow, well, look at this. There's a giant whale over there. Oh no, buddy, don't look at the splash pad. There's a seating area over here with all kinds of sea stars all around it. Very nice. Look, there's a turtle out there, a couple of sea turtles out in the middle of the water. Wow, buddy. Kind of reminds me of Kite Tales at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Oh, it really does. That's, That's so funny. Wow. Yeah, this is awesome. Like, we haven't even seen any of the animals yet, but it's already been well worth it to come to this zoo just to see all the different lanterns. 
I do wish that we had been able to come at night though because I bet you this is phenomenal at night. Yeah, we'll have to for sure check it out next year. I didn't even know they were doing this. Right. So next year we'll definitely come. This is a Grand Cayman Rock Iguana. Can you see it? Yeah, there he is. So if you guys ever take a cruise to Grand Cayman, I think that there are iguanas there that are like this. Ooh, a crocodile monitor. He looks very wise. He's moving. Oh, he's moving. And he's done moving. Ooh, an Aldabra tortoise out here. There's an employee over here giving a tour and he gave some facts on the alligator. He said that this time of year they don't feed the alligators because they're living off the fat stored in their tail. He said that if they did feed them right now they would probably get sick because they're spending too much of their energy digesting their food rather than keeping warm in the winter. The Orinoco crocodile. This almost doesn't look real doesn't it? Like it's just hanging out there warming up in the sun, but like it's not moving. It's got its little mouth open. It almost looks like a statue. Fun fact about me, I, I will trust the occasional alligator. I don't trust any crocodiles. I don't mess with crocodiles. And this is the American alligator. Ooh, pop quiz. How do you tell the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? It's all in the shape of their snout. Alligators have a more rounded snout. Crocodiles have a pointier snout. They have a bald eagle. What did you find me? He found oh, a rock. Very, he's very concerned about the spaces in between the. Oh, the there's wood. a rock stuck in there. Uh oh, bud. That's okay, buddy. You don't need it. You it's okay. It's, it's Look, stuck right there. Let, show me the one in your hand. See, you already have a Ooh, rock. You have a black rock. Good job. But that's so, okay, buddy. We'll get a different one. The thing that I like most, they just use the natural space. Yeah. I think that's really cool. It's not like a... You want me to hold it, that one? They didn't just like build a concrete like box. Right. You know? So there's a couple of tours going around and we're able to hear some information about the different animals and habitats and things like that. One thing that she said specifically when she came up to the bald eagle is that they're both injured and deemed non-releasable. Ah, so. I wondered because one was like sitting on the ground. Yeah. So I kind of was curious. But also when we were looking at the tickets, I saw the, the section for the private tours and they said they weren't doing them right now. Oh. Because I'm like, oh, maybe we'll do that so we can get a lot of information. I don't think that's a private tour. I think it's just a tour. Oh, it's just somebody walking around like yeah. giving info. Oh, okay. I think we could have joined it. Oh, dang. But I think it'll be nice to kind of like walk and explore the, uh, the zoo on our own. Yeah, so um, did you talk to him about like the lanterns that were up here? I have not yet, no. Ah, so they said that these specific kinds of lanterns were put in, they're called palace lanterns, okay. because they were put into palaces. These are the styles that they would put into palaces. Okay. And they were to signify like good fortune and good luck. Squirrels. And squirrels. <laughs> uh, also, they said that the zoo doesn't own these lanterns. This is, these are owned by a private group and they just come in and install them every year and then take them out when they're done. Look at this, there's just this giant dragon lantern over here. This thing is so big. I can't even get, like it's, it's blocked off. I gotta go around the other side to see the front of it. The dragon is a mythical animal from ancient Chinese legends. It's said that at the beginning of spring, it ascends into the sky. And at the beginning of fall, it dives into the deep calling for wind and rain. The appearance of the dragon is derived from aspects of real creatures. Dragons dispel evil spirits, prevent disasters, and bestow blessings. During the period of the Chinese imperial system, the dragon was a symbol of the emperor and therefore continues to represent great power. The dragon has been celebrated in China for over 8,000 years. This is the Roaring Dog. Roaring Dog is a magical beast that accompanies the god Erlang in Chinese mythology and legends. The Roaring Dog helps Erlang to kill demons and fight the Monkey King. Who's the Monkey King? Seeing all of the um, the creatures and the, the things that are part of like the Chinese mythology makes me wonder, like, are we going to see the Monkey King? Uh -huh. I, wanna, I want the full story. Where's he at? There's a rhino over here. Getting hosed down. I bet you that feels very nice. So this is an Indian rhinoceros and he's getting a bath right now. Oh, and they do have a rhino encounter that's $20 per person. And judging from this photo, it looks like you can pet the rhinoceros. Amazing. The rhinoceros made its way into the water. So on the website, they gave a little bit of information about this rhino. It is a one-horn Indian rhino. His name is PJ. 
The nine-tailed fox is a mythical animal in ancient Chinese legends. It is often used to symbolize good fortune. However, the nine-tailed fox was demonized in the early Northern Song Dynasty, referred to as Kumiho in Korea and Kitsune in Japan. This mythical creature was said to transform into a woman. You might remember from Lovecraft Country, the girl, she turned into a nine-tailed fox. But also, Pokemon! Is the nine-tailed fox a Pokemon? It's called Ninetail. Ah, okay. We found the river otters. They are sleeping. Adorable, okay. though. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> you want me to hold you so you can see him a little bit better? Look. You see him? He's inside of the, inside of the log. It's a secret tunnel. He's sleeping. He's very tired. What was it that you just told us, buddy? You're hungry? All right, well, All right lunchtime then. There's a cafe here. Okay, we're gonna go check out the cafe. Let's go see what they have. Oh, which is right next to the herpetarium. All right, so we got Jackson some some food here. This is his, it was a peanut butter and jelly kit. So like he has a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that he's eating right an now. Yeah. It's just an Uncrustable. Uh, they got some fruit snacks, some apple juice, and some applesauce. And then Jen got cheese fries. That's the other thing is they have their waters are in aluminum bottles rather than plastic bottles. And if you get a fountain drink, there's no lids and no straws for the safety of the animals. So it's just like Animal Kingdom. Yeah. So Jackson's kids meal was $8.99. And then they also had like cheeseburgers and, and stuff like that for adult like size meals. And those were $12. They also had so. a kid's hot dog too. They did. And I wonder, I'll have to ask, but I wonder if you get a discount with your annual pass. I bet you do. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they have a section over here called Barnyard Buddies. There's goats and an alpaca. I don't know. I, I, I said that the difference between an alpaca and a llama is height. This one doesn't seem very big. I gotta ask somebody. I'm sure somebody knows. Look at this little tiny goat over here. And then chickens. Barnyard Buddies Children's Zoo and the Zufari Gift Shop. Buddy, that's your size goat. He's a little baby one. I think we can get food somewhere. Oh, can you? Yeah. I hope I brought my pad and paper because I want to draw this goat like one of my French women. I know. <laughs> I like right. that they give it to you in like a little a little lettuce cup. Yeah. So we got two portions of feed for... Oh, Jackson's looking at the chicken. You see the chicken, buddy? Okay, the chicken so... was saying hello. Hey, goats, I got some food for you. You guys want some food? <laughs> Mr. Goat, hello. I got some for you. Anybody? Put this guy. In. Put your hand out for him. Ooh. Look. Oh, 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 oh. Got some like weird llama tongue all or weird goat tongue all over my hand. More? You want to hold a piece, buddy? Uh -huh. Okay, put one. Oh, whoa, oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Hello. He really is, she did say that he would try to take the whole bowl. Right? Do you want some? Hold on. Those teeth are scary for me. Wow. Here you go, Mr. Goat. Come down low. Open your fingers up. Okay. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you do it? Yeah. Wow. You do it again? Yeah. Okay. You're, like, you're drooling just like he was drooling. <laughs> Will you put open your hand out for mommy? Oh, you're gonna do it? Okay. Just a little bit, buddy. Just a little bit. All right. Get that big one. Yeah. Hold it in your hand. Put it in your hand like, like no, that. Oh, yeah. Yep. There you go, buddy. Good <laughs> job. <laughs> you're so brave. You gonna do another one? Make sure you hold your hand out like this, though. Okay. Hold it out like this. Good job, buddy. Yeah, Whoa. look at that. <laughs> okay, okay. You look can, at that. You, you want to do, do some of the other goats too, buddy? Look, you buddy. Can, you see the you see the black and white it, goat hold behind it like you? This. You see how I have it in my hand? Can you hold it in your hand like this? It's okay. They'll eat broken ones. <laughs> Feed it to the goat, buddy. Here, you want to watch mommy? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll do it like this. See? Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was so good. Are you feeding that goat, buddy? Yeah. Oh, look, he's way up here. Wow. Good job, bud. So many goats running around. Yeah. Also, some donkeys. So another thing that they do is they have signs all over the zoo for people that have noise sensitivity or people that might be overwhelmed by something that's loud. So this is a headphone zone telling you that you should put on your ear defenders. But we did see other signs around the zoo that were like, this is a quiet zone. And so you could take your, your ear defenders off back there. When I was a young warthog, when he was a young warthog. Where are they? Way in the back. Oh, is that them over there? Yeah, see one's rolling over right oh, now. Huge. Yep. Those are 
are big buddies. I, for one, welcome our new panda overlord. Look at all these little pandas and this one gigantic one. Welcome to Panda Land. Well, this is adorable. Like a whole bunch of pandas. All right, come to the zoo. <laughs> Down the slide. Whoa. That was a bumpy one. <laughs> Look at that hair. Static. You okay? Ooh, giraffes. Okay. This giraffe, buddy. Wow. You want to feed the giraffe? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Jackson. Say thank you. You ready? Right here, buddy. Whoa. You ready? Look at that tongue. Wow. That was amazing. Here we go. You did it. Did he lick you? Yeah, we came into the butterfly garden. Wow. Ooh. There he is. Don't pick it. Leave it. Leave it alone. Look, look. No, no, leave it alone. It's spiky. You see the butterfly, buddy? Look at it flying around. Wow. Do you see it over here? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back. So there's a Jackson-sized butterfly over here. I thought that was part of the flower. No, it's a butterfly. Wow, that's pretty amazing. So it this, goes. Wow. So this garden is just full of, like, butterfly plants. Yeah. I always like coming to these because it makes me... Like it inspires me to grow. Like, oh, it's a butterfly your butterfly garden. inspo. Yeah, like I <laughs> want to grow some of these plants so we can have a, butter a butterfly garden. But they're they look like wildflowers. Yeah. So it's hard to make them look uh, like intentional. Polished. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like we'd have to put it in the backyard. Yeah. Was it milkweed? It. Milkweed's like the big one. Which where's there's I'm sure there's milkweed somewhere. There's this one is tropical sage, which Ooh. I've never even I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. And then I love this purple stuff. Yeah. What is this thing? I don't know. It's wild. Yeah, this one Milkweed. Didn't... Yeah, see, there it is. But what's this one? This one didn't uh, have a sign. I don't know. Maybe it's on the other side because it kind of like extends everywhere. But there are so many butterflies over here. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, look, and a cheetah. Whoa. And a giraffe. And a giraffe. Oh, there's... I didn't know there were two in there. Yeah, there was two. It was right next to the one we were feeding. Oh. Well, there's a sign over here that says that the giraffe is the world's largest pollinator. But that sounds like a challenge to me. Why? Because I'll be... Does it say Earth's gold dusters? I guess, yeah. Is that what you call pollen is gold dusting? I think so. That's interesting. Oh, so while the giraffes are eating, the pollen attaches to their nose, they head off to the next plant to eat, and they're unintentionally pollinating these plants. Huh. So that's really cool. That is neat. I never knew that. Wow. I'm going to start calling, like, if we do gardening, I'm going to call it gold dusting. Huh. It's just a cheetah hanging out right here. Oh, this is interesting. There's only 9,000 to 12,000 cheetahs remaining. And then a small population in Iran. It really is interesting because you can definitely see where Pokemon got all of their inspiration for all of their animals. It's wild. There's a giant peacock over there too. Some porcupines over here. There's two of them. Kind of cute. I'd be interested to see their teeth. I think they look like, like, like rat teeth or beaver teeth. Oh, yeah. Okay. I wonder if they're eating it or just kind of like using it to sharpen or clean their teeth. Ah, so the sign has the answer to our question. Like all rodents, porcupine have long incisor teeth which grow continuously throughout the animal's life. They gnaw on branches and bones to help them keep them from growing too long. Okay. There he is. Whoa. Wow. That is really neat, huh? Oh, sorry. You're fine. And this right here is what makes zoos so great gets kids interested in animals. Packing up a hairball. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh my Sounds God. like he's sawing logs. Yeah. Wow. All right, so that is where the porcupine was. And uh, I think we're probably gonna start to head home. Jackson's getting a little, a little tired. So I just wanted to show you the sign here that's kind of, we're sort of like in the middle of everything, but there's, the Indian rhino, the cats and the primates, the Florida black bear, the cheetahs, the giraffes, they have an entire uh, bird area, and uh, of course the splash pad area, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that you can expect to see when you come to the Central Florida Zoo here in Sanford. We didn't even see everything, so we'll, we will definitely have to come back. I think we missed the entire reptile exhibit, so we'll be back for sure. Came into the gift shop, look at some of these shirts and stuff that they have. 
the upside down. Harry Otter. The Beatles. Just a shirt that says not a unicorn with a picture of a rhinoceros. So we're gonna get a pressed penny from the zoo. Which one are you gonna get? Which one? This one? Which one is that? The otter. Oh, the otter. Okay, buddy, you ready? Let's turn the knob. So it's 51 cents. Push, push hard, push I hard. I like that this is the manual one because at all the other like parks, it's it's all automated. Is it all done? Let's see it. Wow. Can you show mommy? Wow, Hold bud. it in your hand like this. Perfect. I love it. Another Whew. one. Another no, one. No, just one. one just buddy. one. <laughs> oh, this one. We, just had, we just had enough for one, okay? And then we found this cool shirt that says, I fed the giraffes at the Central Florida Zoo in Botanical Gardens. So I think we're going to get him this one to remember his uh, feeding the giraffes. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. I only had enough for one penny, okay? Another <laughs> one. All right, so before we head out for the day, I just wanted to show you this sign. So this shows you all of the benefits you get with an annual pass. So you get discounts on tickets, guest tickets, birthday parties, um, some of their educational programs. You get a discount at the gift shop, 50% off of 150 other zoos and aquariums nationwide, and then 10% off of the tree trek. So I don't know if we actually showed you that, you can sort of see it through here, but there's like a, a trail that you can go through the trees, like a trail where you're harnessed up and you walk through the trees. So we ended up upgrading our passes to an annual pass, which ended up costing about 80 bucks. Before we leave, I just wanted to point out one more thing. They do have electric vehicle charging stations, but every time that I tried to do it, it would say you don't have access to this station. So I don't know what's going on. It's FPL, which is Florida Power and Light, but also ChargePoint. So I tried both apps, neither one worked. I don't know what's going on. So there you have it. That was our trip out to the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Garden. Yeah. It was great. I had a lot of fun. Jackson loved it. He loved seeing the, um, the playground, I think he said was his favorite part. But he also really enjoyed <laughs> feeding the goats. Oh, and the giraffe. Yeah. Yeah, so that was really cool. I actually had a lot of fun watching him feed the goats because he was so brave. Right? Like when I was a kid, I don't think that I would have just like run up and fed a goat. I think I would have been a little bit more hesitant, but he was very like, yeah, I'll do Let's that. Let's do it. Let's feed a goat. Yeah, he's super brave. I wish that, so during the day, there is three separate times where you could do a rhinoceros experience. Uh-huh. And we missed it. And I wish we hadn't. I wish we had been here to do it, to see well, what he would have done with the rhinoceros. The good news, I don't think you feed them. I think, no, I think you, you can like you get up close yeah, and it's look like at an, them. Yeah. an encounter. But the good news is, is that now we're annual pass holders, so we'll be back for sure. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic day. The lanterns were awesome. The animals were awesome. It was a good day. Yeah. And with that it. being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. My name's Drew and this is Sadie. And now it's time to pay the price.